Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bush Gardens. A big hello to all those new subscribers out there that have joined me since the last episode. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and if you haven't already, click the button now so you can continue watching my videos in the next uh, upcoming weeks. Um, so here I am back at my Bush Gardens park, and I wanted to just get rid of the in-game park boundaries. So uh, these can can be quite in the way sometimes when you're trying to do stuff, especially as I like to work with diagonal style uh, things. At this park, I want to do a diagonal entrance. So um, those don't the because you can't do park entrances, the in-game ones on diagonal. I need to figure out something another way to do it. So I've decided to hide the in-game park entrance underground, and I've put it underneath the uh, bus bus stop for the park. I'm going to make this look like a subway entrance and uh, that's where the guests will actually enter into the land uh, to come into the park um, and the park entrance that I will build for the actual theme park will be at obviously a fake one, it won't be um, a, a, a working park entrance where the guests actually pay and come through, it will just uh, be aesthetic and look like that kind of thing. So as I said I want to have a diagonal entrance for this park. I'm not going to build the actual park entrance itself today but I am going to be doing the entrance plaza just in front of the gate where there'll be some ticket booths. So this is going to be trial and error. I'm just going to uh, experiment with some scenery pieces and uh, put some things together, see what looks best. I don't really have an idea in my head, I just want it kind of generic looking. I'm not going to go for a particular theme for this entrance. Um, I know I said in the last episode that I was inspired by Bush Gardens Tampa Bay and how it has the kind of Arabian uh, style entrance. And that was something I kind of started to do and decided to steer away from that because um, it's not really what I want to do. I don't want to completely copy the Bush Gardens parks. I just want to create something inspired by them. I want you to be able to look at this park and say it's a Bush Gardens park, not a, a copy. Um, that being said, I, I am going to try and include very typical Bush Gardens things in the park. But um, this entrance, I just want it to be generic, but still quite fancy looking. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make one of these. Uh, this is like a ticket booth, maybe where you can buy um, park tickets, so then you can go ahead and enter the park. Uh, I'm going to do three of them, I'm just going to build one, save that as a blueprint, and then copy it down uh, here in the entrance and figure out where they look best. But I want to make a nice little, very uh, cosy entrance area. I want it to be very kind of, um, I don't want to say the word magical because that makes me think of Disney, but I want, I want it to have like a nice atmosphere and, and kind of like a, a magical theme park kind of feel to it. So just as a finishing touch, I'm going to pop a flag on the roof. I really love the flags in the games at, at, in the game at the moment. The the uh, more recent addition to the game, and uh, when you press play, they do actually flap in the wind, which is really cool. Um, so I've been using those quite a lot recently throughout the throughout my game play, I, I should say. So there we go. Save those as a blueprint. Place them down. Now I'm just going to work on some Mitch match pathing. This is obviously really inspired by Silverette, and um, he's been doing a lot of this kind of mix match pathing or paving work recently and I really like it, I wanted to give it a go myself so I thought this would be like a nice little opportunity to try and give it a go and just put down some different path textures. I always seem to use the same path textures and I'm really trying to steer away from that, I want to um, use different path textures and colours more uh, so it's not all completely flat in one colour. That's something I, I is and that I'm not good at and uh, I'm going to try and, my real, real, my hardest in this park to try and use different uh, floor textures and colours because it adds a whole new life to your park I think rather than just having grey paths everywhere. So I'm just trying to make this really cosy and some benches and plants and some little string lights there which I really love them and one of my favourite little details to add into the game and uh, I'm just going to divide up the uh, this plaza area from the car park I'm going to make some nice little canopies to go under. I'm going to use trees here in the planters that I made just to block the car park to the actual entrance. I want it to be like a separate place, even though it's so close to each other. And I'm going to do a similar thing on both sides just to block it up. And this kind of path area that I'm blocking now 
will actually be um I plan to do like a an information uh guest services kind of building there. I actually built a building there and um I plan to show me show you me building it, but I'm not happy with it. Now that I've built the park entrance, um going ahead now of this video that I'm showing you, I've built the park entrance but now the guest relations building doesn't really fit into what I've done. So I want to redo it, go back and redo that. So that's something for me to do at some point. But this is basically the beginning of the entrance plaza and um, I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. If you've liked it as well, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't, like I said. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.